So one of our peers um, had an accident at the track and thankfully um, he's okay. But this is how the car looks. Um, it's stored. So that's why we need safety equipment. That's why we have roll cages and harnesses, neck braces, helmets. That's why helmets have an expiration date because this is no joke. So today I'm going to show you what happens when there's an oopsie at an event. Um, where do we start? So the front mask is all bent up. The front frame rail stayed intact to a certain point, uh, but right after the shock tower, it actually bent, um, bent up. So um, the outer skirt, the fender liner, the, the fender itself, the upper frame rail and you can see some of the the structure here got bent really hard how fast was he going it's not really something that i would know off the top of my head but we're talking about uh probably like 50 miles or so um and this is an impact that is right front related so the frame rail itself buckled um right here so that you can see that it's sorry guys trying to get this camera to work and that is not supposed to be bent like that but uh the whole lower subframe and reinforcement got moved back as well too so this is pretty much a straight line over from driver side passenger side and uh, we have, out. yeah, watch out. It's uh, sharp, sharp edges. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, stop, uh, stop hurting yourself. So we have, uh, we have a whole bunch of uh, crumble zones that actually did do some impact absorbent. And that's how, you know, the driver can walk away because the car is doing its job. So as you can tell, the whole front frame rail has moved up roughly three inches and backwards two inches. So as I was telling you, the frame rail did get crumbled up and then it's kind of hard to see from the exhaust, but we got the lower control arm bracket, lower control arm that bent. And then you have the actual frame rail that buckled down and it's literally twisted up by two or three inches so this is how it should look like that and then this is how it looks so on the other side it came down like two inches or three inches easily so um and this is it's doing its job as well. So the transmission mount and bracket is designed to do a breakaway feature in case of an accident, the actual engine and transmission tuck underneath of the car. So as you can see the engine mount bracket here as well, that broke away. And that's, uh, that's, what, it, that's what it's supposed to do. So the guys are removing the engine. Unfortunately, we don't have we don't have the finesse now. It's not going to be finesse removal. Don't do this at home. You don't do this at home. There's uh, there's other ways of doing this, a nice nicer way. But unfortunately, with some of this ragged metal that got all beat up, um, 
we just gotta do what we can. So there's just glass and shards everywhere. So this is not a correct way to remove an engine. <laughs> it is a correct way. If the car is in, in good condition. Intact, yes. Um, I'm just trying to get this spot well done. Sometimes you just have to use brute force. <laughs> Sometimes. I mean, it all comes out. Aftermarket oil cooler. Front bumper for sale. <laughs> with uh, almost new condition uh, grills. Mint, mint condition now. Yeah, mint condition. Uh, um, do you want to drop the uh, engine mount bolt? Yes. Where's that? 19? Yeah, that's going to be a 19. Uh, we can take the manifold off. Um, let's take the wiper. I just got to yank on it. It's hard for me to yank the shoulders are That's unusable? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's usable. But you, we can show the guy how to take the, uh, the cowl off now. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. I just need to, there's a couple of small little retainers. So you got to take the this screw out wiper, pop out. two wiper nuts off, and then you take the wiper arm off. Be careful not to pry too, too hard on it, um, like I did when this is on. All right, so this is on. Then you want to hold the wiper blade, pull the wiper arm. And then you can pry on this back and forth, back and forth a little bit with your hand, and eventually it will work itself loose. And then what you do is you just raise the arm, pop that off, and that's Voila. it. But watch out, this is spring loaded, so it's a, it's a strong spring. And uh, ask a lot of people, you can break a windshield by not removing this the right way. Yeah, if and it then pops if back look, onto the glass, it, there's, there's some little retainers. These little clips that are holding the actual cowl on. Unfortunately, this one has a couple broken tabs, but in general, because that's of how the accident, not because we pried it. Yes, exactly. Thank you for that um, valuable insert, because that is correct. So, unfortunately, well, we might be able to salvage this, but it's got a little mangled up on the edge, so we don't uh, don't necessarily need it. All right, wipe around. Where'd you put the other one? Oh, right here. Two. You broke the hands, buddy. No, it just pulls out. So. Oh, it doesn't even have nothing on it? Yeah, if you want to grab, you want to grab the um, vacuum, we can vacuum that off yeah. a little bit. And then we can test. Um, we are keeping the oil cooler lines, these silver ones. Well, we can keep it for now, but uh, yeah, just the top of the end. Are they right. transferable? Yeah, but we got better ones. We got the original one. Checking the pulleys. We're going to replace those. I'm gonna take the uh, intake flame off real quick, see? Taking the intake flame off? Yeah, if we can. It's, uh, it's a little jammed up here. So, Maddie, you wanna, let's take this bad boy off. What's that? What's that? This is the uh, dash cow. That might be a little... Sorry trickier. for the noise, but DJ is working on another car behind us. 
banging on it. There's usually a lot going on. We got it off. All right, let's see if we can pull this back right now. Excuse me. I'm going to try to loosen up the wiper mechanism a little bit, wiper assembly. Hold on, hold on. Note, maybe the engine wiring harness got crimped somewhere. We shall see. Tight. That's what she said. <laughs> so now we can get to the intake plenum. Right. Since the, the cow has been removed. This guy just pulls straight out, doesn't it? Oh, this is the other one. There's one. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. yeah, there it goes. Jamie's hammered in there. Yeah, we got broken wires nice. here. We can there. see the guts. <laughs> the surgery has begun. There you are. It's out. I'll get the engine arm. We'll do that. Steering jammy. This is all that. an ECU or what is that? That is the DME, correct. That is the engine control module, my dear. You're right. So, What's this guy going to the firewall here, Tom? That is uh, AIM. That's an the AIM, umbilical AIM, cord. AIM wire. <laughs> so that's, we're going to pull that out. Where does it go to? It's somewhere around here. It's it goes right here to the old pressure switch so we're going to take that off i'm going to save we're going to use another one for that uh what are you trying to do uh just disconnect it from there uh or yeah, just cut yeah. it off there one or the no, other but can, it's easier just to disconnect yeah just disconnect that the um the aim wire we can probably disconnect somewhere there's a connector on it right. what are you trying to do so as i have learned this is not the original engine in this car it got swabbed and so a bunch of wires are zip tied, which is sort of normal. Um, what is the, what was the original engine and what is this? It used to have an S52 and this is an S54. So it's the newer version of that engine. So it's pretty cool. Matty, you want to grab the uh, oil cooler? Yeah. I got the assembly Are you out. taking the whole, this whole piece uh, off? Yeah, so I'm just making sure that this comes off easily. There we go. Why don't we just take it off of the bracket? Uh, Make sure that, that any of the fluids go into a... Catch can. Catch pan. And if you ever have any fluid for whatever reason, Ending up on the ground, either use cat litter or uh, absorbent pads to soak it up. So for comparison rates, um, this is where it's supposed to be, and that's where it moved. The engine. No, the whole frame rail and everything moved back. Oh, the frame rail. See how that's that's supposed to be. Oh, the other straight. side. Yeah. Yes. This is normal. This is not so normal. Is about five inches back from normal. So it got folded up. Because of the crash. Yep. So that's how we can move back. Now we have the power steering line here. We'll take that off. We got the oil line guy. It's just Something. bits and pieces. 
it's like a computer when you take it apart uh, and put it back together you're gonna have some extra parts uh, yeah so the problem is that the coupler got jammed so we're gonna have to do that from the bottom hopefully I just wanted to make sure that we got all the, uh, the wires all off okay so these wires are all off already I think my problem is they got the shell. Okay. No, I got two jobs. Okay, zip tie cutters. Zip tie for the aim. So that's why we need to remove this guy. Because those are, that's the aim wiring harness that is coming apart. So we're taking some of that stuff off real quick. See? So we don't yank that out in the car. Then we're gonna need to get a new starter. So we need to replace that guy. So. Where's the starter? Right here. There's your starter. It's underneath of the manifold. So this is why we have to replace it because the solenoid itself is shorting out and it's doing all kind of craziness. So take, take it apart, replace the starter for the other car have some good bits and pieces for it and we'll go from there. Okay. Alright. And I have the quarter inch ratchet. Have you seen the quarter inch ratchet? Got it? You want me to wipe your forehead? <laughs> for what? Surgery. Uh-uh. The assistant uh, always yeah. Uh, yeah, you can dab, dab, the dab my, my, my forehead off, yes. And then don't forget to disconnect the battery because this is live power right here. All these Which wires. Which we did already. Yeah, of course. So you're not going to be like... <laughs> no, it would just be uh, welding a couple of things together. So it's, uh, it's simple and easy. So we have the power distribution here. So that's what we're disconnecting all the power from sources. What we need for the wiring harness for this motor situation. Okay, there we go. All right, and then we have one of these connectors that we need to be patient with. And this is the one that goes inside of the core. And then we have the aim. DJ, can I cut the... Uh, Aim and the throttle cable. Okay. So these are the O2 sensor wires down here that we need to disconnect. Unfortunately, the the bungs got damaged, so they're just gonna. What got damaged? The O2 sensor bung. Bung? Yes. The, the, that's where the O2 sensor is basically bolted into the headers. So you can see that it's got a little bit close to everything. So we're not going to be reusing these headers. We're going to get oh, because different of the headers. exhaust? Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you look at the bottom, they're mushed up. Yeah. Too. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So this one, we can cut this off. This bad boy off here Wait, hey, 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 hey. easy yeah you better be Jesus Christ is the reverse switch and then we have the dash the aim dash that's wired in okay, we're gonna drop the whole subframe we're not just pulling the motor out of the top pulling it all out did you have the drive shafts off already me there should be a set up here
the garden his camera. Oh, the garden. I so heard I'll, garden. Gar yeah, I'm taking out the garden. No, that's the uh, heater valve and heater hoses and all Why that kind of jazz. Blue? Well, it's blue coolant. Oh. So the remainder of the blue coolant in it. It's the blue-blooded car. Bloody Mary. If you want to, we can cut the this wire right here. This is table. That's the door is good, right? Yeah. No one in the car. No one in the car. Up, up we go. An action. 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 So, unfortunately, this is the fate of a race car where it had an accident and now it's going to have to live on in other parts, other cars, other parts. It's going to be a, a new life for the donor bits and pieces. So, we'll get this guy sorted. But as you can see, it's just bones. Bare bones. Bare everything. We still gotta take that door and fender off. But is the cage staying in there? Yeah, the, the cage, cage is, is not cage is not something that we can take out. Unfortunately it would be so much time to cut out and then to re weld it, it's just not worth doing all of that. So that's that's the faith. Of a race car. Well, some. Well, some of the race cars. Unfortunately, it's a, it's an organ donor procedure. I have to cut the door apart. But our friend is good, and there's another donation part of the chassis that's gonna live on in another track car that is gonna be um, used and. Uh, and that's about it. She did a good job. She saved our buddy's butt. And that's it. Cheers, guys. Here is the bumper. <coughs> the trunk with the wing. There's no more. So we should take the skirts off too. It's not really good from here. I'm gonna need a screw to pull this guy out. Sorry. Because of the light. <laughs> That's nice. Can you do that again? Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, it's got screws in it and all that kind of. Already. Oh. All right, we'll leave it on. Um, I would like to get to, what's his name out there? These guys. So the car cast is on Dolly's. And we moving it out for the tow truck to come and pick it up.
I'm thinking that we don't need this for actually for check. Can you get that for Jack? So taking a mirror off. Just every everything we can salvage. Yeah. That's what it is. There's always another person with uh with a mirror that breaks or anything like that. Any small parts. Any small little screws, bits and pieces. Whatever we can salvage, we salvage. Alright, we'll pop this off. Alright, here comes the door. Get this one. Maddie. No, I just need the bottom one. No, no, no. You're both just trying to take me out. I was trying to. Stop pulling the tissue on it. So we just need an 8. An 8, 10. That's how you make a golf cart. <laughs> yeah. Out of a BMW M3. Absolutely. So, sad life of a unfortunate event for a race car. It's going to be a donor car, so the chassis is pretty much done. We have everything out of it, what we could salvage. And now, it's gonna go and live in its new home, or it's going to its car graveyard. Bye, little car.